KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 6th of January. I'm James Spann. Maybe a little light rain after midnight tonight, but the next big event is at the end of this week and early in the weekend, Friday, Saturday, with rain and storms, the dual threat of flooding and severe weather. So a lot to talk about. Let's take a look at the upper air look across the country this afternoon. This is the flow about 18,000 feet off the ground. Wave coming down across the Great Plains, zonal flow here, and a pretty dry air mass. That's the visible satellite view and uh, nothing but a few scattered clouds. We'll see clouds increasing tonight with that wave. It might squeeze out some light rain after midnight, but probably not much. In fact, I really think a lot of sp spots probably will not have enough rain to measure. Feels pretty good today. We're seeing a lot of 60s on the board. Birmingham at 64, upper 50s up in the Tennessee Valley. And around the nation, no really bitterly cold Arctic air. The true cold Arctic air is trapped up north in the higher latitudes, and uh, some of that will come down in the western states within five to seven days, but the eastern United States will likely stay pretty mild for January. Winter storm uh, issues up north in the northwestern states, parts of Idaho, Washington state. Winter weather advisories for parts of the mountains of West Virginia, Virginia, back into parts of Kentucky. Things are quiet down here. No thunder expected through tonight, but the focus is later in the week. This is the day five severe weather outlook for Friday and Friday night. And we've got a risk of severe storms over much of Louisiana, Arkansas, eastern Texas, southeast Louisiana. A big old 30% circle showing up there, an enhanced risk around Shreveport, Texarkana, Tyler, and Longview. Then on day six, which is Saturday, a risk of severe storms across the deep south, including all of Alabama, all of Mississippi, and some of the adjacent states. We'll focus on this in just a moment as we look at modeling. Here's the rain for the next seven days, the WPC forecast. The Pacific Northwest is wet, and the eastern United States is wet. And uh, that's part of this dual threat. We're going to see rain amounts between two and four inches for North Alabama. Friday and Saturday, and the ground is pretty saturated, so there could be some flooding issues. Rain amounts for the southern half of the state, one to two inches. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the uh, 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 3, troughing northeast of here, and the sky should become sunny. And again, early in the morning, 4, 5 a.m., there could be some scattered light rain, but the day tomorrow is sunny, cooler with a high in the middle 60s. Wednesday, we start the day around freezing. The high should be close to 60. The sky will be sunny. Thursday, the gulf opens up with a southerly flow. Showers west of the state. We stay dry Thursday. The sky partly sunny. The high in the upper 60s, very mild. And then Friday, a surface low begins to form south of Oklahoma City. And uh, east and southeast of that, severe storms are likely. And for us on Friday, we'll mention a good chance of rain at times, maybe some thunder, but we don't expect any severe weather here on Friday. And a very mild day, a good chance we'll see low 70s, maybe even mid-70s in spots. How about that? Now, this is Saturday, and you can see the GFS depicting a negative tilt trough at 500 millibars, that, again, greatly enhances the diffluence aloft across the region, adding to the rising air motion. Now, the GFS depicting a surface low that's over eastern Kentucky, but the European, with kind of a more ominous look, they've got the surface low north of Memphis, and it's deeper. It's under 1,000 millibars. And understand, this is Monday. The event is Saturday. This will change again and again in terms of the small-scale features, and we just don't know that yet. But the synoptic scale certainly... Uh, shows a severe weather look, no doubt about that. And notice the snow back in the colder air Saturday in parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri. Now, this is the instability Saturday afternoon at 3. And this is suggesting parts of South Alabama could see instability values in excess of 1,500 joules per kilogram. Uh, the values 500 joules or so for the northern half of the state, certainly sufficient for severe storms. And again, this is the lightning flash density product coming off the Europeans, suggesting there's going to be a lot of thunder around. But 
again, once we get within 60 hours of this day, we'll get those good convection allowing models and we'll have much more detailed look at this. But the synoptic pattern certainly suggests Saturday will be a severe weather day. And again, if you watch these videos, you'll be ready for it. But just let your friends know that on Saturday, they'll need to have a way of getting warnings and have a plan if they come under a tornado warning polygon. Now, let's go to Sunday. That feature is on by. We're dry. No cool air involved in this. We'll be in the 60s, maybe close to 70 on Sunday. Then a week from today, troughing in the west, ridging in the east, and down below that, this is suggesting the warm front comes north, and that could bring more rain in here uh, Monday of next week, like we really need that. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 16th. Got a zonal flow and a front approaching, a deep surface flow over upstate New York with a band of showers and storms. And the European on the same day, the 16th, pretty similar. So looks like uh, we'll have a chance of rain Monday of next week and then again toward the end of next week. This is the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about five inches, very wet January. Temperatures coming off the NBM, National Blend of Models. Look at those mild afternoons. Snow fans don't like it, but the spring fans will. Highs up in the upper 60s and low 70s for the weekend and next week. Lows in the 50s on many mornings. And this is the CPC outlook for January 14th through the 20th, suggesting above average temperatures for the east, below average temperatures for the west. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.